Top of the morning to you all, welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful, but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. The International Monetary Fund, known as the IMF, issues $1 billion to fund Ugandan dictatorship, your are welcome seven. And once again, thanks for joining us and let's take a quick look into some of these details. The International Monetary Fund has today confirmed the loan worth $1 billion to the government of Uganda. In a newsletter published and shared via the IMF Twitter handle, the $1 billion loan is confirmed to have arose from military conversations held between a delegation of Ugandan government officials and members of the IMF. A source in the Foreign Affairs Ministry who declined to put on record revealed to this reporter that the agreement was reached after Ugandan officials convinced IMF lobbyists that the oil pipeline project is surety enough to have the loan recovered. Uganda is now a self-sustained country. We ask the IMF crew to rely on our looming oil deal as a surety that we can pay the loan, the source says. Uh, it, sh it should be noted that the IMF and the World Bank have been under fire for facilitating a system that is gravely and depressingly frustrating innocent citizens of Uganda. The money received by Uganda is instead spent on strengthening its military might and building an arsenal that is used against the citizens. General Yoweri Museven's forces have, in a, a recent BBC documentary titled The Three Killings in Kampala, been implicated in reckless, reckless shootings that targeted unarmed citizens. The murders left over 54 people dead and dozens injured. To date, no accountability for the deceased has ever been made with the security forces being reluctant with apprehending the errant trigger happy soldiers. Uh, according to the sources, the IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund, is giving out $1 billion to fund the dictatorship's regime. And now people are coming out with complaints that they should go strike on the page of IMF and tell them not to refund the, the dictatorship reason being that we citizens are the ones going to be paying this money year and year until the death. So people are... Uh, the followers or the citizens of Uganda, some of them are against this refunding, saying that it's going to be them, the citizens, to suffer, paying the money every time, every second, till their death. So, therefore, the IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund, shouldn't lend or give money to the dictatorship. We don't know where it's going to end, but I think the money has been given because the IMF confirmed on its page on Twitter that they have lent Uganda loan of one billion dollar so we don't know how it's gonna end but that's it for now thanks for watching we'll keep on updating with more of this but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates